Well, I'm uh, taking the golf cart down and we're gonna get new batteries on it. I was, had every intention to go lithium and um, I don't know, the guy just talked me out of it, said they're just, they, they're, they keep coming out with better and better lithium and sooner or later, um, sooner or later it's gonna be better. So that, and he said there's a huge disposal fee of lithium. Uh, for lithium batteries. So for that reason right Here for that reason um, I decided to go lead acid one more time Lithium was going to be anywhere from 25 to thirty five hundred dollars One guy to code quoted me 25 was for Roy Powell batteries and he said um, He said they he had somebody bring in a Roy Powell to him with uh, that was two years old, 10-year warranty, four-year warranty, 10-year life expectancy. Somebody brought him in a, a Roy Powell that was two years old, and Roy Powell just right off the bat said, oh, no, that's, that's operator error. That's his fault. He did something wrong. And the, the guy at the shop here said, I didn't even tell you what the battery was doing. Didn't tell you anything about it. You're already telling me what's wrong with it? Anyway, so kind of turned me sour on Roy Power. That rhymes, it probably shouldn't. Um, so anyway, we're gonna get this thing unloaded and um, get her done. Gonna get new batteries, need it. Having trouble crawling up the, um, the bank. My property's real hilly. I'm having a lot of trouble crawling up the hill, the hills that I have. And uh, these batteries are about four years old. I should have got more out of them than that. But these are Trojan 105s, and Trojans are not what Trojan used to be. They, the company's been sold, and the battery is just not what it used to be. So uh, it is what it is. Got to get batteries. want to get them before the first of the year so I can get my tax write-off on it on my expenditure. Just got her loaded up on a little old dinky 3 by 8 trailer, and uh, just barely fits. Got to back up in there for it to fit. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna get new batteries. And the next video I do on the golf cart should show me whizzing around on some new batteries. I hope so. I'm not looking to pop any wheelies, but I am looking for some power, more power, more power. Okay, so got her parked out front and uh, they will um, put the batteries on there. Again, around $1,100, something like that. And that's with him keeping the old batteries. And this is Big Dog. Uh, golf cart uh, in White House, Texas. He did not recommend the lithium. He said he toured a plant of uh, one of the one of the lithium factories and uh, said the guy told him, said, well, uh, we've already got a new line coming out, but we want to sell all the old ones before, uh, before we turn out the new line. Well, you know, I understand that from a business point of view, because probably everybody does that. If you go in a grocery store, they're going to sell you the, the older can of green beans before they sell you the new ones. I get that. I truly do. But at the same time, it's just, I don't know, just sounds a little disingenuous. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of integrity lost there. I don't know. That Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm too daggum honest. But, um, but the guy told him, you know, we're always coming out with new lines, whatever. And he, this guy at Big Dog feels that in the next five years or so, which hopefully these batteries, if I take care of them a little bit better than I took care of these, hopefully the batteries will last long enough to, uh, to where the lithium technology will be a little bit better. What bothered me was he said the disposal fee for a lithium battery is around $600, 650 and he said that the battery comes with a tag on it, a certification. The government knows exactly who has every lithium battery, blah, blah, blah. And if you, uh, 10 years from now, they want to come check on your lithium battery and you can't show them where you either had it recycled or um, you still have it on your property or it's still in use or whatever, they can find you out to wazoo. So, and, so I don't know, that just kind of worried me a little bit. These disposal fees on these lead acid are about two bucks. So I like lithium. I think it's the wave of the future. I think it's, um, 
it's what I want to do eventually, assuming I outlive these batteries. <laughs> it's what I want to do eventually, but it may not be, um, may not be right, right now. I don't know. That's just what I'm hearing from this guy here. Another company around me, another golf cart place around me. Uh, one place said that their bosses, it was a national chain kind of, and their bosses would not let them swap out lithium. And the other guy pulled up and he said, sure, I'll do it for, you know, it's $2,500. And I, I was planning on going there until I came back here to Big Dog and, or talked to Big Dog. And uh, he just, um, he convinced me with the disposal fee and the difference in the pricing. And uh, he talked to me about AGM. AGM batteries are a real good option. I've had AGM batteries in the past and they do last a long, long time, probably 10 years, eight, eight to 10 years anyway. And I would think these would do the same, but AGM batteries were, gosh, about almost three times, about three times expensive. It was gonna be like $3,000 for uh, a set of AGMs. And I just, if they, if it was, I, I was willing to pay that for lithiums till I got scared about the, the quality, the um, disposal fee, and the fact that they just, the technology is evolving so quickly that it's kind of like buying a computer. You know, you, you buy a computer and then the next week they come up with a brand new one that replaces that one. And pretty soon they don't support things. Anyway, so this here, we're gonna get batteries. I'll show you when the batteries uh, get put on and I come pick it up and uh, we'll just, we'll go for a spin, all right? And show you the difference. And um, we'll just do that. How about that? All right, we're gone.